Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan, live in the flesh. I just want to show y'all my face. Y'all haven't seen me in so long because I've been looking a mess, but now I kind of, you know, look like something. So yeah. So the company we're working with today is Julia Hair. This is the box. Okay, let's open it up. I think this is the highlight wig. Yeah, this is the highlight wig. So inside you get two black stocking caps and an extra adjustable strap clippy thingy that you can put in your wig. And this is a 24 inch wig. Okay. This is smooth. This is the wig. So inside you get a comb right here, a comb right here, and a comb right here. And you also get an adjustable strap in the back. And this is a, it's either light brown or transparent lace. I think it's transparent, not sure. And this is a, 13 by 4 frontal. Now, I do not like the parting space on this wig. As you can see, like, look at that. The size is really short. So, I mean, you can do a side part with it. It just would be a short one. You'll have to curve it. But I'm more than likely going to do a little part with this unit. So, yeah. Let's see how it smells. Smell normal. Let's see. Is it getting any shedding? Got just a few strands. Let's see. Okay, so minimum shedding, not shedding bag. Let's see, is it tight? Give me just a little catch at the end. But nothing major at all. At the hairline before I go. It does come slightly, I don't know if you guys can see that. It does come slightly pre plucked. But I know me, I'm going to pluck some more. <laughs> Um, the knots on it, they, I don't think you would have to bleach these because it's such like a, you know, highlight color, but I think I'm going to bleach them though, just, you know, just to make sure everything is, you know, melted and everything. But I really feel like you can just take this straight out the box and like, um, you know, install the style however, and then you can just add like some powder or some concealer and you'll be fine. But you know, I'm gonna do the extra and bleach the knots and pluck the some. So yeah, this is the wig. See y'all later. So this is before the hair and makeup transformation. Get out my cousin in the comments before we find you and get you. Okay, period. <laughs> So now we're about to jump straight ahead with the wig and style. I'm using the Ruby Kisses of a 14. I think I used the lightest shade or the darkest one in there. I'm not even sure. But I put that on the cap and now I'm putting that on the lace. And I'm going to use my free spray and my blow dryer to lock that in place. And then we're going to start positioning the wig on the client's head where we want it to. And to secure the wig today, I'll be using the adjustable straps and the comb in the back. I always remove the two combs that are be, that be right behind the frontal because I just be feeling like they be unnecessary. But I definitely do take advantage of the comb and the adjustable strap in the back, especially if um I don't feel like sewing the wig down or if the client doesn't want their wig to be sewn down, but still wants it to be secured and not um rise up in the back. So now you want to go ahead and cut out those ear tabs and then we're gonna proceed to start gluing this wig down okay and also i don't know if this is a medium cap or a large cap but um 
if you got a real real big head this wig probably not gonna work because it barely worked for my cousin when i tell you it fit like literally fit like perfect on her hairline like any little bit less of lace it it wouldn't have worked so yeah if you got a real big head this wig may not work for you but i just want to give you a heads up before you spend your hard-earned money so yeah if they have options to change the cap definitely get the largest cap but i don't know what um cap size this is but anyway moving along i'm using my boho active um four layers um you want to make sure you dot along the edge of the cap and then you smooth the glue onto the skin and the cap making sure that the glue is actually on the skin After my fourth layer is dry and it has turned clear, I proceed to lay the lace down and I use the teeth of the comb to help push the lace into the skin. And I'm also going to use my blow dryer on a high heat to help secure that lace to the skin. And now I'm going to tie it down and she's going to go sit up on a dryer on medium heat for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back, take this band off and cut this excess lace off with our eyebrow razor. And off camera, I did go ahead and bleach those knots for about 10 minutes, nothing major. And I did just pluck a little bit more of the hairline. I did want to keep the hairline pretty thick because I knew we wasn't doing um, any baby hairs today. And the more hair you pluck off, the more weird it can look um, if you don't secure the lace properly. So yeah, I didn't want to um, pluck too many hairs out. And I did go ahead and shampoo and condition the wig off camera as well with uh, Tresemme Smooth and Silky.
and y'all already know today we doing another bust down so we're finna get that center part into place and i'm gonna use my wax stick and my hot comb just to help me um lay the hair by the part down And I know everybody be asking, like, where do you get your hot cones from? But I get them from Kendra's Boutique. But, y'all, they've been sold out for, like, some months now. I done had this hot cone so long. And I thought she would have brought it back in stock by now. But it hasn't. It's been out of stock for, like, months. So, to be quite honest, I don't think it's coming back in stock. Um, some other hot cones I can recommend, um, they're at Walmart. Um, I think it's one by Andes. I used to use that one. And it was another one. It was by somebody. I forgot. But yeah, um, you can also get um the ones at the hair stores um that have a plug to them. They're called Annie's. But they take a little while to heat up and you can't really adjust the temperature. But I like hot combs that I can adjust the temperature because with like colored or blonde hair like real light blonde hair, um, I cut the temperature down just because too hot of a heat, the um, dirt on the hot comb can transfer to the hair in or um, burn the color off. But with black hair, honey, I have that um, heat all the way up to 500 degrees. But anyway, moving along, I thought I applied some more makeup on the lace because we're really trying to get this to blend and be seamless. I'm gonna spray my hairspray on the lace and we're gonna tie it down again with the elastic band. And now I'm using my wax stick. Oh yeah, y'all be asking about that too. I get that from I-B-H-S-L-A-Y-S.com. I-B-H Slays is from Beautiful Hustler here on YouTube. I use her wax stick and um, I'm taking a piece of the back of the frontal and I'm using my hot comb and the wax stick to smooth that hair over the tracks because this is a lace front wig. So you definitely want to cover your tracks in the back or they'll be showing. And then I'm going through the entire frontal using that wax stick and hot comb just to make sure I lay everything down as flat as possible. When I do bone straight hair, I love super flatness. I like that thing flat, flat, flat. So now I'm just pressing this hair out. I'm using my Babyliss Titanium 2-inch flat irons that I got from Sally's. These aren't the Nano Pro ones, like the blue ones that everybody be using. These are the black ones. They're, um, they're cheaper and they're at Sally's, but they work just as good. Um, I'm using my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat spray on each section just because it gives the hair a beautiful lust luster and it doesn't make the hair heavy. And um, yeah, I just love I just love spraying that and pressing that hair out. So I'm just going to press out the entire wig. You know, nothing too major. Y'all know how to flat iron some hair. <laughs>
and y'all look at those highlights like we don't even have to sit in the shop and be so technical with the placement of our highlights we can literally get a wig already colored we could just take it fresh out the box and just go ahead and start installing it and y'all this wig looks good on any skin tone light medium dark blue purple black green pink whatever skin tone you are this wig looks so good i just love it so now I'm adding some more makeup to the lace because y'all, I'm trying to make sure this lace is unclockable <laughs> for real because we ain't doing no baby hair today. I ain't got time for that. I, uh -uh. that you know, baby hairs really be annoying. It, it really takes me a while because I'm such a perfectionist. And yeah, when I, when I get the opportunity to not do it, honey, I'd be happy. Okay. So now I'm plucking that part out some because it is real dense up in the part area. And then I'm going to take my brown spray and my rat tail comb. We're just going to make that part real sharp. That's what we're going to give you that, um, that bust down for real. And I lay a wrap strip over the very, very front of the lace because like I tell y'all, if you get this spray on the edge of your lace, just cancel your whole hairdo. It's not coming out that lace. You're going to have to literally take the lace off and wash it. Even putting alcohol and, and trying to scrub it off, it's not going to work. You're going to have to wash that with some shampoo, baby. So please be careful when you're spraying this. If you're not comfortable, do not use this. Because like I said, honey, you get that on the edge of that lace, j just go ahead and start crying because you through. You just do, baby. And then I'm adding some concealer with this paintbrush. Y'all thought it was a makeup brush. No, it's a paintbrush. It was the paintbrush set from Walmart. <laughs> you could just use whatever you can that has a pointed um, or sharp end brush, whatever thingy. And um, just make that part more defined, honey. And now we are done with hair. Let's get into this makeup, honey. And no, I'm not a makeup artist. So a lot of stuff I do, um, you may not do. But honey, this is not a tutorial. This is more of a sit back and relax <laughs> and enjoy the show type of situation. So sit back, relax, <laughs> and enjoy the show. <laughs> And now we're done, but you know, before you finish your makeup, you gotta spray your setting spray. I'm using this Milani Make It Last Spray. My friend Natalia Janae here on YouTube, she put me onto this stuff. And honey, this take your makeup from zero to 100, like for real. And my cousin just be making the most weirdest faces. Like, girl, it's just spray. You not gonna drown, honey? <laughs> and yeah, you wanna make sure you go on fan that and let that dry. So are y'all feeling this makeup transformation? I think I'm definitely feeling it. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. So once again, this is a 24 inch highlight wig from Julia Hair. Make sure you check the description box for all the specifics on this wig and links and coupon codes, etc. I hope you guys enjoy this full hair and makeup transformation. I'm trying to bring some new video ideas to my channel and I hope you guys love it. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe and turn the notification bell. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.